Imagine you're working on a project with some partners or customers. You would most likely need a place where you can share resources, keep your project on track, and keep everyone on the same page. Office 365 can be just this kind of place, so let's see how it works. Once you've set up your site, just click Share to give people access to it. Let's go ahead and invite Anne, our business partner. Enter her email address and choose the appropriate permissions. Take a look at the different groups we can add people to, and let's use the default members group, which will allow Anne to add or edit content on this site. Here's a notification confirming that the invitation was sent out. Now let's see things from Anne's perspective. As you can see, the link she received right in her inbox takes her to the Office 365 login page. And once her permissions have been checked, she can access the site like all members. Okay, now imagine you just need to share a document, not the entire site. You can do that too. Just go to the document you want to share and from the hover panel, click Share. Permissions for sharing documents are pretty simple people can either edit or view a document. Now you can choose if you want Alex, a customer, to sign in and access the document, just like we saw with Anne, or if you want to send him a guest link to make it really easy to review this document. Let's try a guest link to see how it works. Once again, we are notified that the document has been successfully shared. Okay, now let's go see what happens when Alex gets the invitation. He can still sign in and get advanced editing features, or he can simply access the document in one click and review it right from his browser. As you can see, the formatting is really well preserved in the Office web app. and Alex can also go ahead and review comments directly in the browser. All right, now let's see how to manage permissions. After a while, you might need to stop sharing this document externally. To do that, simply disable the guest link. Okay, that's easy enough. Now let's look at how to revoke a user's access to our site. Let's go to the site settings. Then people and groups and select the user you want to change permissions for. Let's pick Anne in this case and remove her from the members group. Now she won't be able to access the site anymore. As you can see, getting everyone on the same page and working together doesn't have to be difficult. With Office 365, you can quickly give people outside your organization access to your sites and start working together right away.